It's a laundry list of problems for Credit Suisse, isn't it? Um, for, for us, we've got uh, exposure to Credit Suisse right through the capital stack, um, both in terms of senior all the way down to additional tier one. Uh, at the moment, we're not too concerned. We don't think this is going to be a ratings risk. Uh, it looks from the equity move yesterday that we're looking at around a four billion hit, uh, which is pretty big, but probably not enough to stress their capital buffers to the point when the regulator steps in and says, hang on a sec, stop your dividend, redo your business, get some equity raising, get some more capital through the door. So right now, we're not actually planning to do anything with our Credit Suisse positions. And, and indeed, if we see them cheapen up much from here and we get better disclosure on the size of the loss, that might flip to thinking about a little bit more positivity and adding some of the lower risk uh, exposure to Credit Suisse. It seems like uh, equity investors may have a different view, but uh, you've obviously uh, you're invested in fixed income space, so the thinking is a little bit different there. I, I just want to broaden out the question to what this tells you about risk management policies, and you know what's clear from the incident and the fact that one one family office, one in private investment fund, could inflict so much pain on banks, up to six billion dollars in losses spread about uh, amongst four or five banks does tell you that some of these risk management policies are simply not working, whether it's uh, not giving sufficient haircuts on collateral, whether it is uh, underestimating exposure, over leveraging. What can be done to ensure that this doesn't happen again? And is it raising bigger alarm bells for you about the sector as a whole? Well, as you've been discussing over the last day or so, that this is a becoming a regulatory issue now, almost more than anything else. You know, how do you regulate family offices that are highly leveraged? How do you control the amount of exposure to a business? And we've seen this with GameStop on the other side. 140% short made little sense. And and I guess a lot of the companies like Viacom that that Archegos was invested in being highly leveraged by by people like Archegos uh, are going to cause problems too. So I, I think the regulator needs to take a serious look at how people are exposing themselves to individual companies. Are they exposing in such a way that they don't have to disclose the size of their long or short position? That's a concern that I think needs addressing very, very quickly. Um, in terms of risk management at a lot of the banks, <sighs> We are talking Nomura and Credit Suisse here as the biggest problem. Um, and, and Credit Suisse, at, at the end of a long list of uh, issues here, means we've been downgrading slightly our ESG score, particularly the governance side of that for Credit Suisse over the last four or five months. So it, it's coming higher and higher on the radar. And that may end up outweighing the value that's starting to appear in some of its credit.